Hello, my name is David. Welcome to this demonstration where we're going to perform a mass transfer. In this demonstration, we're going to show you how easy it is to transfer multi assets between employees, expense accounts, and locations in a single transaction. So let's move over to the system. In the scenario, uh, you'll notice if you've followed any of the demos, I've been loading all of my new assets into uh, one gym in New York. Let's say we need to close that gym and we want to move all the assets over to a separate gym. So we're going to do a mass transfer. That's what I'm going to demonstrate. So the task is transfer assets. And I'm going to hit the mass button. So it's Supremo Corp, Corp book that I want everything into. But that's for inquiry. So here I'll use the add to add or to create a new mass transfer so i'm going to give give this a name o4 demo in terms of mass transfer and what i'm going to do is just copy and paste that into my comments uh, you can specify the transfer date, but I'm going to leave it in terms of today. And then you've got your, if you like, your selection criteria of capitalized assets, uh, group assets, expensed or CIP. So we'll leave it as capitalized. Uh, and again, what I'm going to do is just go for a, a very simplistic filter here. Identify one particular location combination. So what I'm going to do is make sure and you've got all the various options here of equal to, not equal to is blank, but I'm going to go for very much is equal to. So USA and I'm going to add in the four fields that I know in my location and for me by the gym that I'm trying to identify is my gym one sitting in New York And I'm also looking for my city. So again, I'm looking for the city of New York. And my final field is the very individual building where the assets are currently residing. And I know most of my assets I've entered in my gym number one. So look, the selection criteria will say for look for any assets that are currently located in gym one. And what we want to do is either expense account, employee details. What I want to do in this case is again, change them to a new gym. So what I'm going to do again is fill in in all these fields. So I'm looking for, in terms of New York, uh, 
Um, add in the field of city. Searching for the values again. And the final one is a very detailed building. which is my O2. So when you're ready with the criteria, hit the submit button to load up in terms of the mass transfer interface table. Here I've gone back to my landing page and notice I've got 18 in terms of transactions or assets that are now, if you like, populated in the mass transfer interface table. And little information can view the old assignment and you'll see you've got the action and you can do a single action. But with 18, that's probably going to take me some considerable time. So rather than do a single action or review, what I'm going to do is use the spreadsheet. So I'm going to hit the prepare button and that will download these all into a Excel spreadsheet. So here I'm looking at the downloaded spreadsheet. And if I scroll across, it shows me the original units, employee or expense codes, the new locations. And remember here, we're just switching gyms. So the initial location is New York and a new location is my gym number two. So what I'm going to do using the power of Excel is change my mass in terms of interface table from new record to postable. And what I'm then going to do is just copy that all the way down on these 18 records. And I could upload it and that would be just uploading it back into the interface. In this case, I want to make the transfers. So I'm going to post the information and await the response on the system. And all of those look successively have been updated. The post mass transfer process has completed. So I've no longer got any records. The 18 records look have gone from my in terms of mass interface table. If I'm back in the depreciation infertile, click on the 26. Let's just click this top asset. These are all assets registered in the period. And if I look on the transaction page, and if I scroll down, you'll just see at the bottom, it tells me the change in terms of what's happened uh, in terms of uh, in terms of the transactions, in terms of how they've moved. So in this case, it's moved from gym one to gym two. And let's have a look at our second uh, in terms of asset as well, in terms of our second asset here, in the transactions, you'll see it's moved from gym one to gym two. So in a single process steps, I've cleared out my gym one, all my gym equipment has been moved across and now in the asset register is recorded as being located in my uh, employee gym number two. Thanks for watching and please move on to the other videos.